with me. Come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, is it lands for tall and gold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, blast galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi. Sometimes we think that only people that are big and strong can protect themselves and their loved ones from harm. Well, that's not always true. Sometimes a quick mind is even better. Our tale today is a good example of that, for it's about three sisters who were orphaned when they were very young and had to get used to taking care of themselves. One day, the three sisters set out to see if they could make their fortunes. It's getting dark, and I'm scared. And I'm tired and hungry. Bear up. I see a house up ahead. We'll ask there for food and shelter. Why, you poor dears. I'd gladly take you in, but my master is a giant and will eat you up if he finds you here. Couldn't we just rest and have a bite to eat and be off before the giant comes home? No, we don't want to share our supper with them. You're going to get into trouble for this. And here comes Daddy. Oh, I smell girl. Splendid. I'll help them for supper. Just a minute, Sir Giant. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Look how tired and scrawny we are after our long journey. Why don't you feed us first and fatten us up? Oh, uh -huh. scrumptious idea. Feed them well, woman, and I'll help them for breakfast. So after a hearty supper, Molly and her sisters were put to bed with the giant's daughters. I wish I could help you, my dears. But although I am a queen, I've been a prisoner here myself for seven years and only escaped being eaten because I am useful to the giant as a housekeeper for his daughters. <laughs> Be quiet, you'll spoil our sleep. But you just wait until tomorrow morning. Yeah! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm just sprinkling some fairy dust over our pillow so that at least we can have pleasant dreams. I want pleasant dreams, too. Get out of that bed. We want the nice dreams. All right. Molly and her sisters quickly slipped out and didn't stop running until morning. I'll get those girls for this. We'll stop here for shelter. Oh, let's not. There might be another giant. Giant? Don't tell me you've come through the giant's land. The king must hear about this. Swiftly, Molly told the king her story. I know the giant well. Seven years ago, he captured my beloved queen and my three sons. I was able to ransom back my sons, but the cruel giant kept my queen to work for him. Why, Your Majesty, we saw the queen. She was kind to us. We must rescue her at once. Alas, it's not possible. I had to pledge that I would not try to rescue her, or the giant will eat her up at once. Well, I'm going back to see what I can do. So that night, Molly slipped back into the giant's house once more. She found the poor queen under lock and key. It's no use. Save yourself, Molly. Wait. What is that neck chain, that purse, and that sword the giant keeps by him? My husband gave them to the giant to ransom our sons. I'll just take the king's sword, and I'll take the king's money while I'm about it. And don't despair. I'll see you again. Come back, you! The giant chased Molly all the way to the bridge. <laughs> We'll see about that. Well done, brave Molly. Now I must go back to rescue the queen. Then once more, brave Molly slipped back into the giant's house. But this time, she wasn't so lucky. <laughs> now then, Molly, if you were me and I was you, what would you do with me? Well, first of all, I'd tie you up in a sack, put a silver chain to weight you down, then I'd throw you in the river. But before I did that, I'd go and cut a big stick to beat you with for all the trouble you've caused me. <laughs> you would, would you? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do with you. You, go get me a sack. In a moment, the giant had Molly tied up in a sack. And when it was light, he set off to cut a stick. Served you right. Served you right. You thought you were so smart. Now, this was the moment for Molly to think faster than she'd ever thought in her life. Ooh. You 
should see what I can see. Oh, it's wonderful. What is it? What is it? Didn't you know that your father's silver chain was magic? Magic? What kind of magic? Oh, I want to see. I want to see. Well, then, get in here. You have to be in the sack to see it. What is it? Where is it? Oh, here Quickly, Queen, run! Now then, smart Molly, take it back! Daddy, oh, Daddy, oh, Daddy, oh, Daddy, oh, Daddy. Oh, that weasel, I'll get her this time! Come, Queen, we'll have to swim for it! Faster! Faster! Now, Molly, you must take my youngest son, the brightest and the best of all. <laughs> Well, all right, if you'll have me. So Molly claimed her reward at last and proved that size doesn't always count if you have a kind and brave heart and a quick mind. Mm -hmm.